Hello my lovelies, welcome to Erica's Magical Projects. I'm Erica and each week I'm trying to bring a little bit more magic into my life. This week I'm going to explore how I've done with my three craft projects by using my tarot cards. Instead of giving them one out of five stars, I can give them one out of 78 tarot cards. I think it's really important to evaluate how you've done with each project. Sometimes there are things that can be improved and you don't want to shirk away from those facts. You want things to be better next time. That's why I try to use the tarot cards because they can explore lots of different aspects of the human condition. The first project I did in August was to celebrate Lamas and to complete another section of my Wheel of the Year. I haven't quite finished it. I really meant to, but you know, time does funny things, especially in summer. I think what I'm gonna do is try and complete it before I get on to the next segment, which will be coming up in the next month. So I went to a festival for Lamas and I had a really nice time teaching crochet and hanging out with hippies and just, you know, being a festival person. I felt really wonderful and full of creative energy. And for that reason, I'm going to give this card the Queen of Wands. She's holding a sunflower in her hand and that mirrors the sunflower that I painted on my Wheel of the Year. The high and creative energy of the Queen of Wands is something that I really felt that I embodied during that festival. The creative fiery energy of Wands mixed with the tranquil focus of the Queen. Creativity was flowing not just from me but from all the children that I was teaching at the festival and from all the people around me. I love to be surrounded by creative people, it makes me feel very happy. And then straight away, I was off to another festival to teach more crochet. This was quite a rewarding experience for me as I was really impressed by the children. And it made me think about my childhood and how my grandmother taught me how to knit all those years ago when I was five years old. And for that reason, I'm going to give this project the Four of Cups. This Four of Cups speaks of childhood reminiscence, of the sweetness of youth and how lovely it can be to think back on those times as an adult and try to make the children in your life as happy as you remember that you were. Full of childhood reminiscence and happiness, for some people who didn't have a nice childhood, the Four of Cups can remind us that even amongst the darkness there is bright sparks and that's the reason why I've given my teaching crochet project the four of cups. And now for my final project of August, the poncho that I made for my artist friend. And here's the finished item on its recipient. Doesn't it look amazing? In this, she truly looks like an autumnal queen. I'm going to bookend the first queen with another queen. It's the Queen of Pentacles. I'm going to hold these two queens together so you can see how the Queen of Wands here talks of the high summer and the Queen of Pentacles, she's sitting in an autumnal forest. The Pentacles talks about the earth element, turning inwards, the focus from the outward facing queen to the inward facing queen and the creative energies flowing in different directions. The Queen of Pentacles is showing you something very magical that she's made in her lap. She just wants you to notice that this handmade thing is very magical. These two queens represent each end of August for me. One felt like high summer with the sunflowers bobbing around. And now I've been walking on the autumn moors and seeing the first little mushrooms come up out of the ground. And I know that it is autumn and time to change the focus of the year back to an inward one. So that was August. <laughs> time to put up some new ones. I just can't help notice, but the hedgerows are absolutely full of fruit at the moment. Blackberries, apples, rose hips, all kinds of fruit just begging to be picked and turned into something nice for the winter. And so I'm going to make some hedgerow jelly for my first project of September. You can come with me and we'll see what we can find to put in that jelly. The next project I'm going to do for September is to make more ponchos. Now look, I know I've just made a poncho, but that was made with 100% wool and hand spun yarn, and it was really chunky, a size seven millimeter hook. And all the way through the pattern, I was thinking, ooh, I wonder what this would be like with a DK yarn and a smaller hook. 
so I couldn't help myself. As soon as that bigger one was off the hook, I started planning the next ponchos. So I'm afraid there's another video to come with more ponchos. But this time, I'll have a little look at that pattern that I used rather than the yarns. So that's my second project for September. And then the wheel of the year will have turned again and we will be in May Bonn. That's the autumnal equinox. And I'm definitely gonna get on top of that wheel of the year this time. Brilliant, right. Well, I can't say that I'm very pleased to see the end of summer, but it's been very creative and very productive. And I've met lots of people. And thank you to all of you who've subscribed because I met you at a festival and I gave you a card. Hello, thank you so much for watching. And remember, everything that you handmake is magical.